<laughs> yeah, it's amazing what 5 a.m. in the morning does to traffic sometimes. Uh, we look out towards Grovetown, a little bit of some passerbys, but nothing uh, that's really tying up uh, conditions at this point. Good visibility. We're uh, not looking at any problems with dense fog this morning, especially out at this exit at 190 in Grovetown on I-20. 67 degrees, our official temp. Well, we're coming down in temperatures for a few days. A little bit more of the upper 80s to near 90 mark, maybe just a touch cooler than average. This weekend will not be that way. We're expecting to get more heat back in for our first official summer weekend. Summer start tomorrow here. Maybe an isolated storm to cool things down. Wouldn't be bad. It's been kind of a while since we've had a good rain for a lot of folks here, maybe other than just an isolated shower on Monday afternoon. It's been dry since yesterday and today probably not going to be any different. Mid and upper 60s between 67 to about 70, depending on where you are. Perfect setup to be out on the lake today. That breeze it continues like it did yesterday. We'll stay from the east at 5 to 15. So we might have a few higher gusts out there along the water. Other than that, no advisories for wind at all here. Here's where the heat definitely starts turning up a little bit more into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Hot outlook for our first summer weekend coming in. 92 is normal and moving into those temperatures from Friday, Saturday and Sunday is where we start seeing the heat risk elevated a little bit more into that moderate to major category here with the middle 90s that take over and even may continue into the start of next week. That's what most of the U.S. is favoring above average temperatures, at least for right now, to just about close out the month of June here from around the four corners all the way to the southeast and eastern third of the country. We're going to have some warm temps on our hand when you see the seven day in a moment. Wednesday, today, Thursday, as far as rain chances go, it's going to be tough to find here. We're continuing to draw that feed off the east coast, and that leads to maybe a few coastal showers or little rumble of thunder down in the low country there from the coastal Carolina area also into Georgia and the Florida Atlantic coast. So not really much moisture is able to make it inland here. We have 60s and 70s for the rest of the morning. You can see that little push for maybe an afternoon shower that pops up. Maybe a few of our southern counties might see an opportunity there south of Swainsboro from Emanuel Jenkins, Screven County. Just not really a lot to go around. So upper 80s to 90. We're going to favor a dry start tomorrow morning back in the low 70s, upper 80s to that low 90 mark. And that breeze out of the east will just continue to push in off the East Coast. So low 90s today, tomorrow, Friday and through the weekend, we start heating back up. Look at next week. Now we're really starting to talk summer temps, upper 90s, both Monday and Tuesday. At least there's a mention for a shower thunderstorm each day.